Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start at the front end of the bicycle. So check to make sure that nothing's loose. So you would check your brake and gear shifters, go down onto your handlebars, give those a little push, make sure that there's no creaking uh, and that the handlebars don't slip around in the stem. Then pop the front wheel between your legs and this will check the two bolts on the side of your stem. You see there, there's no movement, that's good. We don't want the stem to be loose. You can then check the bearings that live here. We can do this by putting the front brake on and wobbling the bike back and forth whilst checking for any play that might be present on the top and bottom bearings. We would squeeze the brake levers and we would find out whether there's any wear in the brake pads and if we found that one brake pulled in more than another we would then look at the brake pads find out if they were worn, find out if the rim was worn. We would also make sure that the brake operates evenly. So we can see there, that's what we're looking for, that's ideal. If one side moved and the other one didn't, there would be a problem, we'd need to investigate that. Check your tyre as well, make sure there's no bits of glass or thorns stuck in the tyre, so go all the way round. Make sure your spokes are tight on both sides of the bike. Make sure that the wheel securing system, the quick release, is tight. And then you can look through, make sure the handlebars turn to the left and the right and that the cables aren't being overly stretched. And then you can check for any damage to the frame tubes. You can grab the cranks and this will, you can find out whether there's any play in your cranks, in the bottom bracket they call it in the pedals, it's nice and tight. Make sure your saddle's nice and level and is also tight. So you can push it front and back, twist it side to side. It's obviously nice and secure. You don't want to be cycling with a saddle that's going off at a funny angle. We will do the same checks as we did on the front wheel, on the back wheel. So we're making sure again, the brake operates evenly on either side. The tyre's free any glass or thorns, the spokes are nice and tight and that the hub is nice and tight and also that the rear wheel securing system, the quick release again is nice and tight. There's a little guide that should leave a mark in your hand when you've closed it and that's a simple way of checking over your bike before you go for a ride.